What's going on guys, it's Xtrax Gaming. Um, I'm back at you with another tutorial today on how to live stream directly to YouTube. Um, I'm not going to show you how to use Wirecast because um, most of you partners on YouTube that live stream, um, it tells you to download Wirecast, like the free version which is really bad, you don't get your 720, it doesn't support your cap card, um, you just don't get the quality you want. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to open up my YouTube to show you that I'm capable of this and I'm pretty sure partners can only upload to YouTube alright so live events um, I don't have anything but um, if I create a live event and we're just gonna tutorial and we're just gonna go through on everything else cuz I'm not gonna end up uh, streaming this event Um, <clears throat> you can see here, uh, you know, you choose your, um, your, uh, ingestion settings, but, uh, that's not, that's not what the point is. Um, what the point is that, um, Wirecast is really bad. It's horrible. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, um, if you're using OBS or XSplit, whatever one you prefer, um, I'm going to show you guys how to use OBS, but... Uh, you, you'll get the point of what I do because it's pretty much the same layout on uh, new setting up streams. So you're not going to do a basic and um, you're going to do a basic ingestion. Um, I prefer to go 720 for your viewers. Uh, and then when that happens, um, you see you have Wirecast for YouTube, and it tells you to download. You don't want this. Flash Media Live Encoder. That's not what you want. You want to go to other enco encoders. And you have your stream name, your primary server URL. That's all you need. Um, so you're gonna open up your, it's, you're gonna open up uh, OBS. Um, I have my YouTube profile, so you go to it. Um, set up everything how you like it. Uh, you know, do your settings. Um, but he, this is like what gets like weird. You see how you like 724,000 kbps. See, I stream at 6,000. And you'll see why this is confusing, but it doesn't matter because YouTube is slow in the head and it doesn't understand. So um, your stream name is your stream key. Um, I'm going to have to block this out. Your primary server URL, I'm pretty sure it's the same for everybody. Um, that is your server. And uh, you know you put your stream key in, and that should be it. That's how you stream. Um, but like you got to go to custom because... YouTube's not supported. So once you have that set up, you can just uh, start streaming. But uh, once you uh, have um, this set up, uh, you can go to your live control room. And I have my Xbox turned on now, so if I start stream, I don't know if I updated my stream key. Uh, we'll see. I don't think I did. But here it says we're streaming, and just to make sure... I'm gonna put in my stream key. Uh, apply. Okay. Start streaming. Go to live control room. And once it starts processing. And there you go. So you have this stream. Um, everything is good on it. Now the bitrate part is confusing because. Um, it will say like your whole time you're streaming it will say bad because when you're playing Call of Duty and you're standing still your bit rate will be at like 300 and when you're moving around shooting and stuff your bit rate uh, shoots up to like 3000 and YouTube thinks it's going to stay at 4000 if you're above uh, 4000 it's going to tell you you're doing bad um, so to stop that you don't want you don't want to uh, use a custom use a constant bit rate you don't want your bit rate staying that high the whole time uh, you just gotta let it do its thing. Do your normal settings. Let's let it do its thing. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing much to it. Um, you just it's pretty much just setting up, and that's how you find your stream key and stuff. And that's how you stream to YouTube directly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope to help you guys. And uh, once again, this is Extracts Gaming. I'm out. Peace.